If you're a Mac user, you know all too well about Apple's AirDrop function. If you're a Windows or a Linux user, then that's a function you only wish you could have. That is, until now. This is SnapDrop, a progressive web app for local file sharing. Local file sharing in your browser, inspired by Apple's AirDrop. Now, I'm going to be honest. I used to use Mac for my daily driver and for my business. What made me not want to switch back to PC was the AirDrop function or ability to drop photos from my phone to my Mac on my desktop. Yeah, I kind of weighed the pros and cons with the video editing and the gaming and everything that came along with a PC and I ended up switching back to PC. A couple years go by and I find this software. So now not only can I transfer from my Mac, my PC, my phones, all of those devices can transfer files seamlessly. Not only photos, but videos and other file formats as well. To install SnapDrop, I simply grab the compose code and copied it into a Portainer stack page. I then changed the ports and volumes to my needs and changed the version from 3 to 2. Then I just deployed the stack. And just so you know, I did install this on Ubuntu version 20.04. So the only real advantage to self-hosting SnapDrop is having access to it when you don't have access to the internet. So you can access it over a local network. And we'll get into that in a minute. Also, an advantage is having access to the files, which is always good. If for whatever reason you don't want to self-host SnapDrop, you can go to snapdrop.net and use it just as easily that way as well. Well, that's cool and all, but how does SnapDrop work? How does it transfer files? Is it secure? What else is there to know about it? Well, let's dive in and take a closer look. To handle the transfer of files, SnapDrop uses what's called WebRTC, or real-time communication. Think of it as a peer-to-peer -peer file transfer. When I first set up SnapDrop on my server and tried to run it locally, things worked a little bit, but they didn't go so smoothly. For example, when I tried to transfer a photo from my phone to my laptop, which was running Linux and Firefox, it didn't seem to find my phone. So I did some research and I read up on some things and checked out the issues on GitHub. Didn't really lead me anywhere. People were just having issues. But I decided to take a little bit further and that's when I decided to set it up behind a reverse proxy using my own domain name and then gave it a certificate through Let's Encrypt. Everything went swimmingly. I tried all devices, my laptop, my desktop, my MacBook, all my different devices, and everything worked seamlessly. I was able to transfer videos, photos, PDFs, all through my devices, and it worked just fine. So it seems to work better when it's behind a certificate, which makes sense if you think about it, because there's a big difference in transferring files securely and not securely. So after playing around with SnapDrop for a couple of days, the consensus for me is that it worked pretty well. And I did find out that some browser plugins may break SnapDrop or cause it to not work for whatever reason, but just know that this is a project that is still in development and is being updated by the developer. So just go ahead and follow along on their GitHub repo and make sure you keep up with it. And there it is, your AirDrop alternative, SnapDrop. There's gonna be more information and links in the description below, so be sure to check that out. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know in the comments below. If you found this helpful, shoot me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. I'd love to have you guys on board. Click the bell icon if you wanna know when the videos drop. It'll send you a push notification, letting you know when that happens. That's gonna be it for today. Bye for now.